Hello everybody, Naughty Nana does. Seeing as this is Easter Sunday and all, if you celebrate, um, I just want to, I thought it'd be good to do another uh, segment of lying for Jesus. That's right, that's where all those self-proclaimed Christians out there want to tear down everybody else that doesn't look like them, act like them, or pray like them. And today I was watching the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Learned a few things. Well, I knew the story and whatnot going to Catholic school growing up. But I compared it to the modern-day Republican Jesus followers that they have, like in the, um, in the com uh, Congress and whatnot. So at the start of this part of the movie, it said Jesus gives Judas the piece of bread apparently laced with the devil because he knew Jesus would uh, betray him for 30 pieces of silver. You know, just like Trump betrayed the, uh, the whole country for millions of dollars. Now, just before Jesus leaves the Last Supper, the real Jesus said, Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. And if you love, if you have love for each other, you will know, uh, you will know that you are my disciples. Simon Peter says, I will come with you. I would die for you. And Jesus says, are you really ready to die for me? Now I find, um, I find that before the rooster crows, uh, you will three times say, you don't know me. And that's Trump to a T. Every time someone speaks truth against him, he doesn't know them. Oh, he was just a low-level staffer. Or he was a never-Trumper. He's a rhino. Or, oh, knew him years ago, haven't had any contact with him. Right? Now, Jesus said to his scared disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. That does not mean that you can do an end run around your God and trust and believe Donald J. Trump is the chosen one because he cares not one iota about you, only for the gold and the glory that you can give him. Now he's begging for five and ten dollars. His two sons are begging for money on my channel. Yeah, I like that when uh, Brian Cohen does that. I'm stealing it, Brian. Now, Jesus also said, if you love me, you will obey my, uh, my commandments. And when I am gone, the Father will send the Holy Spirit. You will not see him or know him, but he will be in you. So, no, Donald Trump is not who God the Father sent to save you. And he is not invisible doing kindly works. He does everything for the press, money, and yes, he demands the glory in the form of loyalty pledges. Jesus said, these teachings are from my Father, and I am the Deliverer. The Holy Spirit will be sent and will be in you, and you will remember all that I taught you. At the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed three times, and each time he expressed his willingness to obey his Father's will. He was overwhelmed and sorrowful for what was about to happen, but he was obeying his father. Trump, however, has a yellow streak a mile wide and gets others to do his bidding. And when they get arrested for doing his bidding, they go to jail. Most of his staff are indicted or convicted, and he's the victim? Seriously. Now Judas goes to the palace guards of Caiaphas and the Council of Jews and tells them Jesus is in the garden. Now they show up with weapons, the Roman soldiers and their commander and the Jewish priests to arrest Jesus. Now in modern times, Judas is Trump and he summons the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers and the gullible mob that believe what Judas, I mean Trump tells them that they are allowed to believe. Now, Caiaphas said that it was better that one man die for all the people, but he didn't have the stomach for it. So he got the son-in-law to do it. Hmm. 
forgot about Jared Kushner doing his bidding with the Saudis and screwing the Qataris. Yeah, I forgot about that. Another one sold his soul for $2 billion. And after Peter denied him three times, the rooster indeed crowed. I believe the denials of Peter today would be the MAGA so-called Christians that know the truth but turn their blind eyes to the sins of their chosen one. Jesus said to Pilate that my kingdom is not belong to this world. My kingdom does not belong here. I was born and came into the world for this purpose to speak about the truth. Whoever belongs to the truth listens to me. So this goes to show you that all them uh, false prophets out there taking a knee on the house floor and praying for a false leader like Mike the Mini to raise him up. But when Colin Kaepernick, uh, Kaepernick took a knee for the persecution of his people, he was cast away and blasphemed and made to feel lesser than those who were praised for taking a knee for a false prophet. Now Pilate came out and said, according to your customs, um, I always set a prisoner free for you during the Passover. Do you want me to set free the king of the Jews? And the crowd all started screaming, no, no, no. And then the chance for free Barabbas started. Now Barabbas was an insurrectionist against the government. If you don't learn from in the past, it comes to haunt you and bite you in the ass. So in present day, it was the rabble rousers, Republican Jesus marauders, who built a gallows to hang Mike Pence, another self-proclaimed Christian that will be the first in line to condemn the uh, LGBTQ community, AIDS research, and the victims, whether they were children or not, but lift up a man who cheated on all three of his wives, lusts after his own daughter, found by a jury to have sexually battered and defamed a woman, told over 40,000 lies while he was in the highest office of the land, brags about groping women's lady bits, and barging into teenage girls' dressing rooms at the pageants because he owns them and had to inspect them, all while these girls were in various forms of undress, and that as soon as he comes in, they should all run over to him and tell him how wonderful he is and how grateful they are for the opportunity that, he had, that they have been given. All you guys out there that think he's great, what if it was your daughter in that dressing room? Still going to pat him on the back and send him money? Then came the 39 lashes and the crown made of thorns to make fun. Uh, and then Pilate said, I can't find any reason to condemn this man. And then Pilate chickened out, went back because he seen the angry mob below. He went back to Jesus, but Jesus wouldn't answer his questions. And all the other leaders all came to Pilate and started chirping in his ear that anyone who claims to be the Son of God should be crucified. Or you are not a true leader. So on the eve of Passover, Jesus was made to bear his cross to Golgotha, and they, he was crucified with two other men. Now, do you really think these Christians like Maggotty, Handjob, Mike Pence, Greg Locke, Tim Burchett, would put themselves before God and die for him? Seriously? They all have a big stripe down their back too. Not likely. They have the adulation and glory for money that they get from standing over others, proclaiming their love for their God and Savior all while voting against feeding hungry kids in school, against helping the sick and dying in wars of our allies, against teaching a truthful history of the country, against Social Security for your mom and grandmother, by the way, who worked their asses off to um, put that money aside so they would have something in their retirement. They voted against seniors with diabetes. They voted uh, to keep guns in the hands of mass murderers instead of the welfare of your children. They voted against diversity, equality, and inclusion of all God's Americans, if you believe in a God or whatever, but I'm pretty sure no matter what religion that you are or whatever deity that you pray to, they all promote peace and kindness to those who suffer. It's not made for them 
the Republican Jesus folks to go out there and cause the suffering. I'm just saying. So anyway, that's my rant. I just want to say happy Easter, stay safe, and love yourself first so you can go and love somebody else. Look past the little faults and stuff like that because inside we all have a heart, we have a soul, well, most of us do. So anyway, take care of you. I love you all. And all my new subscribers, thank you for coming aboard. Thank you for sharing my messages. I appreciate you all. And let's get to 15,000, I guess. Maybe the Easter Bunny will be good to me. Maddie Nana loves you. Be good, be safe. Mwah. Appreciate you all.